The Jubilee Party has embarked on the verification process of the list of its aspirants barely 48 hours after counties completed the task of electing members to its elections board. The party now wants aspirants to verify their details in the next two days. The party's headquarters was a beehive of activities as aspirants milled to verify their details, each hopeful they will clinch the party's ticket. What is going on here in Jubilee? In terms of nomination process, it's quite clear, it's uh, authentic, it's fair, uh, very well conducted. The planning is uh, all going very well and I look forward to having a very effective and fair and free primary for Jubilee Party. I've verified my papers, they are good, they are good and the process is so good. This gives us assurance that um, the elections are likely to be free and fair. Mekuja uku Jubilee headquarters wakikisha kuverify jina yangu kwa sawa na karatasi zangu ziko sawa na nimeshukuru sana kwa jubilee wako na utaratibu Meanwhile the party's disciplinary committee has ordered four of its members to appear before the committee Tuesday following incidences of chaos witnessed during the election of county elections boards in various counties chaos were witnessed in Nairobi Kirinyaga Moranga and Nakuru counties the disciplinary committee has consequently summoned Senator Mike Swanko, Governor Mwangi Wairia, Nakuru East MP David Gikaria, and Kirinyaga Governor Joseph Ndadi to appear before it on Tuesday without fail. Tumesema. Elsewhere, a committee tasked with the mandate of crafting an inter-community negotiation on how Jubilee Party will field candidates in Transoya County has settled on a formula that will see all communities living in the cosmopolitan county represented in the party. The team, led by former minister Noah Wekesa, agreed the woman representative slot will go out to the Kikuyu community, while the Kiminini parliamentary seat will go to the Bukusu community. The committee resolved the parliamentary flag bearers in Saboti and Kwanza constituencies will be generated through elective nomination process since they've generated controversy. Kevin Washera. Channel One News.